Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, welcome. We do movie and series reviews and monthly wrap up tier list. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Netflix just dropped season two of Dark Desire, La Temporada 2 de Oscuro de Cell. Um, this time around we got 15 episodes. They're each about 30 to about like 40 minutes along. It's just, this show is just too ding dong juicy to not talk spoilers to you guys about because I gotta give y'all all the cafe about everything, all that tea. In case you're new to Oscuro de Cell, um, this is a like a telenovela. It is a telenovela, you guys. So very erotic telenovela. So there's a lot, a lot of sex stuff happening, you guys. Well, season one, we did get back in 2020. Alma and Leonardo have separated. Well, not separated. They have divorced. <laughs> Uh, by this time of course season one they were each pretty much having their own their own thing neither one of them was being faithful well Alma I think she was up until she met Dario and then she got that good girl loving some kind of years have passed by um Alma like I said is very hung up on Dario kind of checking him up on Instagram finds out that he has a new lady um Julieta and wouldn't you know it uh they end up coming to Mexico because apparently they weren't here. It looks like they were in California or somewhere in the States. And they come back. Uh, well, it's not just his new uh, lady friend. No, no, no. Dario is about to become a married man. During the bachelor party, um, somebody uh, sneaks some some little drugs, some sort of sedatives or whatever into Julieta's drink. She's kind of losing her stuff. And Alma is all like, I'm going to warn this girl about Dario. So they kind of have this little encounter. Dario like... Um, then l later on like fo follows her down the stairs and they end up in the laundry room. They go into some little argument because they already know where this gonna go. And then um, in the laundry room he goes, you want me to tell you what I think about this money? And she goes, yes. Alma's just all like, you need to give it to me like now because I've been dreaming about this and about your hotness. And I just want to like have all my hands and all your hands on me. Like boy, take me, take me now like it goes from the laundry room and then they end up back at the, at the hotel room back to the bachelor party julieta ends up getting like this text message and like very devastating leaves her bachelor party and it's just like i need to go get some air ends up on the roof of this um hotel calls dario calls alma we just end up finding alma like over the the balcony and then next you know she goes over there to find Dario passed out and it's like Julieta's gone you just said it like that like there wasn't like oh I'm sorry oh I don't know this it's like dude she gone she dead she's over the bridge not over the bridge over the balcony the sad thing you guys is it's like when she like you know was falling down the balcony like she ended up falling like in this like little water thing and the dad was outside like he was smoking a cigar he was so happy and then bam here comes the body of his daughter so sad because you know he had lost his wife previously um because she had mental problems and then like and now julieta is like wait does she have mental problems now too like the, like from the mom like did she like jump did somebody kill her? I don't know. It's looking a lot like suicide. So this is like the new Brenda of season two. Because if you recall, season one, Brenda, uh, Alma's best friend, committed suicide or we thought somebody had killed her. We weren't knowing. So then here it's just like, well, we're kind of repeating the same cycle because, you know, season one was so successful. So then now we're like season two, we're going to repeat the same thing. Or do we? There are some changes to certain things. Before I get into this any further and you're trying to come at me and you're like, Stephanie, but they're so toxic and i don't give a shit okay you leave me with my toxic ass relationships i'm not involved in no tag ding dong talk i can't even say it no no toxic relationship in my life very toxic relationship between alma between dario it's a very lusty very sensual uh relationship she goes it's not all about sex bitch it is because the moment that you're with him you're always like jump into bed with him and 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 you know you're like arguing or whatever and then he just like bats those beautiful beautiful seductive eyes at you and then like starts kissing you passionately and like touching you in the right places and next thing you know you're just like take me now oh my god i got hit with my with my, my little neck <laughs> i get too into it you guys it's like really you don't even know that much about him you really really don't like he's always like apologizing and then he's like crying and then you're like a dumbass female or like oh my god like he's crying at me like let me forgive you guys no don't forgive him he's fake crying god on it 
and done some shit. Let me tell you how toxic this relationship is because this heifer, Alma, literally should not be with this man. Kind of like a Miss Robertson thing. I mean, we have another Miss Robertson, but she's also like a Miss Robertson because, you know, he's obviously a much younger man. But I mean, yeah, see this, Dario? Like, oh my God, like, look at that. <laughs> Hotness. Literally doing an intervention with this lady. And she's all like, I don't care. Yeah, let me live my life. And if I want to die by this man, like he's going to kill me, then I'm going to die happy. She's so toxic and so into this guy and what, you know, he does to her, makes her feel. For the D, obviously. Literally, it's all like, fuck my daughter. Fuck you. I don't know you. Get the fuck out of here. I don't care. He went literally to go search for you. That's what happened in season one. Search for you seduced you her daughter lost your virginity with him okay and all for payback to get back at you and then you still like a dumb ass bitch. una relacion muy toxica but i love it i love it i know i'm like whew, about the show but i'm not gonna lie it's not as juicy and i didn't find it as as entertaining as season one it's a recycled strategy that kind of happened we have all the the original well not all of yeah, the original cast is back. We have some new characters. We have Liz and we have um, Ingenio, Ingenio, I don't know what the hell. And then of course Julieta, which is the fiance Ingenio. I don't know how to say his name. That's Julieta's um, father. And then Liz, Liz come to find out is the other Mrs. Roberts. She finds uh, the support group that Alma is involved in and like works her way in there to manipulate or whatever. Well, Liz says that she was um, Dario's English teacher, right? And that he was like 16 or 17 years old. 17, I think it was. And then anyway, they got involved. This lady, Lise, is Dario's stepmother. To make it a little less ill, she did not marry Dario's father. She married Dario's uncle. Dario's uncle, um, what's it called? Adopted him because of his inheritance because Dario has an inheritance and that's kind of what the, the, the show this season is about too It's about money about this inheritance. He was being abused by the uncle and Lise um, The uncle actually really enjoyed watching Lise his wife have sex with other um, Other guys would film them take photos and everything and so that was kind of the thing with Dario Lise killed her husband now it's Esteban, okay this season with the Esteban, he finds Jesus, so good for him. He found them because when he was um, running from the cops, when he had pulled the gun on Dario, cops were following him. He went into a church to go hide. Some scumbag comes and like shoots up the church. When the gunman was there about to shoot Esteban, Esteban puts the Bible up to kind of like protect and he actually ends up shooting the, the, the Bible and the bullet literally just barely made it to the very back of the Bible. So it actually stopped it and saved his life. So that is how he found Jesus. But the whole like Dario and Esteban situation i didn't understand that I'm, I'm not gonna lie the whole timeline between what was happening with him and instead i went to uh jail as well i believe the whole thing with the incident happened after jail but then like he went back to jail i don't know that whole moment with dom and their relationship i don't really quite understand the timeline within it because i don't remember them ever saying like a year two three years ago you know a couple months ago or whatever nothing actually seemed like like a dream or like a, like we remember anything like that like none of that felt like that it was just like happening so i did have a problem with that that was one of my biggest issues so y'all can let me know down below like what was the timeline between nadio and, and and esteban with their whole like meeting and being set up and yes uh nadio sets esteban up but then it's like oh no that really wasn't him that it was like a doppelganger twin somebody went and cashed Dario's inheritance money and Dario and Ingenio kind of hire somebody to try to track it to see where it happened and then they're finding a, a video uh, of somebody you know getting the money and, and, and signing for it. Now this is kind of another thing with the timeline situation that happens because they did mention the pandemic so it's kind of like we're in current times but then that's kind of like the only mention about a pandemic going on so i don't know from when that happened to where we're at now in the story what year we're in because like nobody 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 was wearing masks nobody was like oh let me spray stuff down with lysol or, or like with the hand sanitizer i understand that it's not about that but just the mere fact that you didn't mention the pandemic early on that's the whole reason why we're not sure who this person is because they were wearing a face mask but then like nobody from like the background none of the extras were wearing masks i never saw it so i 
I don't understand the timeline where we're at there. Like, I don't know if they were just COVID free at this point. And I just, I know that that's not really like a big major issue. And I probably shouldn't have brought it up. Because they only mentioned it that one time. Now this season, Leonardo also gets on my damn nerves. Like, he really, really does. Obviously in season one, since he was like the the juez, minister, or whatever, like the top judge person, whatever, he had to like keep his cool, right? And it's like, oh no, we can't do like... We can't lose our shit here. Him and, and Hino, they pretty much kind of team up and Leonardo tells and he knew about who Dario was, like what he did to the family. He goes, I'm so sorry. I did get your invitation, but I honestly didn't open it until like it was too late. Otherwise, I would have called you and warned you and told you like this is the kind of guy that your daughter's trying to marry. So to kind of just wrap this little recap up, I think I gave y'all most of the juicy things. I don't think I covered every single last thing, but... Otherwise, this video is going to be forever. Like, I know I talk forever. All right, let's get to Dario. So Dario makes up this doppelganger story that he has a twin. He literally plants evidence into that suitcase. I remember that suitcase from season one. He likes the, I don't know how the hell he snuck into this, into the, what's it called? Um, I don't know. It's Dario. He's sneaky ass shit like that. Anywho. And he like plants a photo. What happened to Julieta? Who murdered her? Because at one point we're like, oh shit, was it Liz? Because Liz has something to do with it too. Well, Liz is the one that actually ended up drugging Julieta. She ends up getting involved with uh, Julieta. She's like the seamstress. And her plan though was to take Julieta uh, to the bedroom where Alma and um, Dario were screwing. I don't even know how, but Liz somehow ended up... <laughs> I swear, I don't know how people be doing stuff like this. Uh, I somehow managed to hack into the hotel security system or whatever and caught um, and got the video of Nario and Alma sleeping together. And if I recall earlier when I talk about Julieta, which Nario's kind of like almost like manhandling her, but then like picks her up. And again, she's drugged, so she can't really defend or do anything much for herself. Lise is over there hiding in that like storage uh, deal because when she found out that uh, uh, Julieta had called Dario, you know, she's trying to like go and hide before Dario sees her and like I know you're probably like well, why doesn't she come out and do something? Why didn't she say something before? She didn't see, actually see anything because she, she was like again hiding and the door was closed and she said that she could hear little things but she really couldn't hear too much but she could hear that there was an argument, some sort of encounter happening. The fiance kills the girl, throws her off the side of the building and then um, I guess he heard um, Alma coming up or heard somebody coming up because this motherfucker goes laying on the floor. And then that's when Alma, she ends up seeing Dario just like laying on the floor. It's like, Dario, levantate, que no tenemos que ir. All right, so before I do give you my score, because I'm going to start scoring um the series that i watch from now on i hadn't been doing that if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new oscuro de sale temporada 2 start desire season 2 i think you should stream it season 1 definitely for me was 10 times better season 1 i say binge that whole season 2 stream it oh i totally forgot to tell you how it ends oh my god i swear <laughs> i'm giving you all the deeds except how it ends so, <laughs> you have to think about it. Alma, as her and Dario are having sex, ends up realizing, oh shit, he said this and I never said that. And was able to put two and two together. You're the killer. Like, I know you're the killer, right? But then, like, you know, she she knows she's in danger kind of deal. She sees it in his eyes, like, oh man, this, 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 this boy's about to murder me if I don't, if I don't play my cards right. Alma is smart now. Alma is smart at this particular point because they're not the thing, she's stupid. She's all like, I, I still love you. Let's let's leave, right? We're just gonna, I'm gonna abandon everything for you and we're gonna take off somewhere. We gotta get everybody involved and we gotta, we, we gotta trap him. So, Badio ends up getting the call and was all like, look, you see me over here, hi, from the building uh, across the way, was like, I, I was here that day, that night, I saw everything, like, I, I know who you are, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Leonardo with his, like, uh, self, but he was helpful here, like, it was part of a plan. Because it tackles uh, Dario, and it's all like, hijo de tu, you and the stem are involved in stuff, and all of this, and blah, 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 and then that's kind of when Dario, because Dario's smart, you know, ends up finding out that, hey, the one who called me, I know that's Esteban, so it goes across the building, and it's going upstairs, and it's all like, Esteban, 
Esteban, I know you hear you, you go to the bitchy body. But then it was like, no, uh, Alma, Alma's the one that pops up. She confronts them, right? And then like, there's a struggle. Esteban is over there hiding somewhere. And they're like, Esteban, you need to go and help because there's some stuff going down. And it took Esteban forever to come around because apparently like the communication or whatever was up. But I'm like, motherfucker, you were probably around the corner. What do you mean you didn't? I don't know, you guys, I don't know how far he was. But Esteban shoots. Dario, he passes out and then they like inject them with like the true serum and it's all like, why did you kill her? And he's all like, I didn't kill Julieta. Julieta made me kill her. Like he basically confessed, but he of course had her defense in his way. Anywho, you know, he wakes up, he's in the hospital and Eugenio is there and he's all like, ah, que paso? And he's all like, oh, like, why am I handcuffed? Que paso? And then he's all like, no sabes que paso? Like, you don't know what's happening. And he's all like, and then he knew he saw like you motherfucker you kill my no he didn't tell her but he like looks at him with like this like disgust like that i'm not gonna get nowhere with you because you're basically like this con artist like you can get away with shit and like walks away so yes dario did not get away with murder it's about to go to jail okay you guys so that is the end of the recap right there it's just such a juicy show even though it's not as juicy as season one well then i gotta talk about it like i you know i really don't do spoiler talk here it is in spanish it is a mexican telenovela uh, but it does have subtitles and at the bottom i actually did not check out the dub in it um i usually try to check it out for you guys to tell you if it's like worth it but i always feel like you should watch it regardless in the original language uh, because obviously you get more from it i do that with anything that i watch in a foreign language so if you've seen oscuro de cell temporada dos dark desire season two let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you like it did you hate it was it just not for you is it something that you're maybe planning on checking out is it something you're just like you know what that's just not for me i'm gonna stay away if you love a good telenovela then i definitely recommend for you to check this out and that is it from me today until next time i'll see you guys in concessions bye